Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. We last left off, we were about to go down below. We've already had a taste of the down below. However, uh, this man screwed up royally and possibly, possibly forgot to take the shotgun to one of the most dangerous places uh, in this game. Um, now, now, before we go crazy and start pointing fingers, uh, I think we all know who the culprit for that was. And I think it's safe to say it was Chris. Chris forgot the shotgun. Okay. Now we have that uh, blame pointing, finger pointing out the way. Let's go deal with this hunter again. And hopefully get past him without getting slashed. Come on. There we go. See, they're really easy to get past. Um, as long as they're, they're not fully alerted. And as long as you run past the right side of them. Um, yeah, so... So, yes. You do have to run past their, their... Is it the right side or the left side? I've got to think which orientation he's facing and what... Ah, fuck it. The side without the claws, basically. Although they have claws on both sides, but they always swing with one hand in particular. Uh, which is uh, their left hand. Yes, they swing with the left hand. So you run past the right side of them and you always uh, avoid the sharpie, stabby claws. Ooh. Are the dogs back here? But the dogs weren't here a minute ago. Why are the dogs back here? There shouldn't be dogs here. Well, that's... Fucking strange. We came back and there was no dogs. You colour me confused. Well, that's fine. Um, right. So. We've harvested all the goodies from this side. Well, not... Oh, yeah. We don't want to go this side yet. Oh, that's right. We need the crank for this side. So we did actually pick the right side. Cool. Funny enough, we could actually just like drop this crank back as well, because now it's going to be taking up space. Why did I take the crank with me? Oh my god. Hey, it's a good thing this ain't like a pro strat run. Now, we'll take the flamer. I don't even know if I want the flamethrower, to be honest. I honestly don't know if I want it. Um, I can't remember how good it is. I'm pretty sure it's rubbish. I'm really sure it's rubbish. Uh, now, let's go back through here and see if we can find our friend. Before we get shot in the face. Well, I assume he gets shot in the face. He gets shot somewhere, anyway. Might not be the face. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! <laughs> As he wills his flamethrower. Uh, hell. Uh, umbrella. Whose umbrella? What's umbrella? Who is it? I is someone <laughs> No, your gun accidentally went off in your pocket. Oh, is someone double crosser? What did he mean by that? Uh, the guy that just shot him right in front of your eyes, or girl, because there's a few ladies running around. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. Yep, he's holding the crank. So now we have two cranks. And I think does he not hold anything else? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, what's... Hunters. Yep, and there's me just totally ignoring my own advice there because... Well, didn't ignore it that time, but you know what I mean. Ugh. Titan, you're a dull lad sometimes. You really are. Okay. Uh, where is that hunter? Hmm. Yes, we're there. Okay. 
Let's just bum it down here. Get all of those guys to miss. Because we really don't want to fight those guys if we don't have to. Because it's just a waste of everything we have. Uh, right. Oh, God. Uh, hey, friend. Should we try the flamethrower? Ouch, ouch, ouch. You know, let's just try it. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's okay. It does drink ammo. Yeah, it's locked. It would have been a shame to, uh, Yes, it would have been a shame to leave that there, in all fairness. Uh, leave it without actually, you know, enjoying it a little bit. So, we got some some enjoyment from it, so yay. And we haven't had to touch the shotgun yet, either. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage. I think, like, eating an F.A. spray. Uh, there's no ink ribbons here, is there? No. No, there is not. That's a kick in the knickers. Um, yeah, we don't want to uh, fight the hunters if we can avoid it. And I'd rather sacrifice a first aid spray than some shotgun shells. Because we really are quite low on... Well, we've got loads of magnum ammo, I suppose. I guess that's a thing that we have. Right, cool. Tempted to go back and drop the crank off, but uh, there's no point. There really isn't any point. It's just a waste of time at this time. Uh, there's another flamethrower there, which actually I didn't... I actually forgot that there was another flamethrower there. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, I forgot there was two flamethrowers. Oh, right. Right, well, let's get this Indiana. Okay, we didn't quite go far enough up. Come on, Indy. Move your arse. Move it, move it, move it. You know, I still get nervous when I do those... Uh, yeah, I was going to say play with the balls, but... <laughs> Yes, let's not go there. I always get a bit sketched out when um, what we like item-wise, really not fantastic, uh, if I'm honest. Really not fantastic at all. Hello, you green fuckers. Now, we can kind of hide in here and grab that, I guess. Anything else in there? That was it. Uh, come to daddy, you ugly fucker. Come on. Come yeah, on. Don't leave me waiting now. Really? Yeah, because this kind of stunlocks them. Stunlocks them really well, actually. Right. There we go. Come on. Keep it going. Oof. 55 fuel left. Okay. Was there just two? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Happy with that. Now we've just got Black Tiger to deal with. I'm not sure what my chances are against Black Tiger. We will try the same tactic that we used last time. Really don't want to get killed here now, though. Uh, right, okay. You're going to use Jimmy's tactic. There we go. See if we can make this work. We should be able to. you just got to stand here and linger. And then run. Okay, that definitely seems to work. I think the trick with this is to linger here for a few seconds and then he will kind of like lock on and then fire. There we go. Yeah. Fucking hell. Good tactic, that man. 
really is really quite spiffy. I am a fan. I never realised until I started talking to him that this actually damaged the uh, the web. It's a really cool thing. Ooh, God. Okay, that didn't work. But due to the nature of... Oh, he's moving a bit now. That's going to throw his aim off a little bit. A little bit naughty. Come on, you spicy bastard. There we go. No, 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 no. Hey, you're not supposed to be moving. You're not supposed to be moving. Sir, I say, sir... Can you not, like, shift about? Because you're making this a little bit more awkward than it has to be now. There you go. Good, good lad. Good lad. There's a good chap. Come on. Don't tease your boy now. Come on. Make the magic happen. Right there. Come on. Right there. Right there. You could do it. You could do it. I believe in you. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're one of the good ones. You are. You're one of the good ones. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're one of the good ones. Now, this flamethrower... Oh, we have to put back there, yes. Um, okay. Is this the save room? I always get confused down here. To which one's the save room and which one isn't. Ah, oh, that's that wonderful music. You know what that wonderful music means? It means we're in a fucking save room. Uh, let's go put the flamer back because the flamer's job is done. It's actually really good against the hunters because it's a constant stream of damage and apart from a couple of bullshitty bits, it does stun lock them. Huh. I don't remember it being quite that effective and I imagine on the uh, easier difficulties it would be even more effective. I don't know why they have flamethrowers down here. Let's grab the flamethrower and read the description. See what it actually says. All right. What does it say? Can throw flame for nine seconds with max fuel. Is that all you get? Nine seconds. I've never read that. That description either. Throw flame. I mean, it, that makes sense. But you only get nine seconds of fun. With that boy, bad boy. We should put it down. Now, we do get quite a few flamethrowers in Resident Evil. We get the flamethrower in Resident Evil 2, which really was quite rubbish, from what I can remember. Uh, and then you get the spark shot as well, which is a disappointing weapon. Uh, in the remake, I think... The spark shot was quite a bit better. Alright, so we've got a blue herb there that we don't need. We've got an F aid spray, which we probably absolutely will need. We've got more magnum rounds. I'm going to be honest, guys. Apart from a few, like, pucker factor moments, this hasn't been too difficult. Um, I'm not going to say it's easy, because there's, there's a lot of times that we just straight up got lucky. Uh, those hunters can just fuck you. Like, without too much uh, too much hard work. Especially if you're not 100% concentrating on what you're doing, which, let's be honest with me, is quite a lot of the time. Um, Black Tiger is... Once you crack that, Black Tiger is a bit of a joke. Like, he really is. Um... Uh, I think it's a square crank that we don't need anymore. Okay, good to go. Uh, we will take the ink ribbons as well, because why the hell not? Now, the lab really isn't that difficult. There's loads of zombies in there, but... Um, I think we're going to be okay, because we've got a lot of handgun ammo. Uh, Cult Python. Where are we? Where are we? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, back up to nine ink ribbons now, which is more than enough. Okay. Yeah, really thought that this area was going to be harder than it was. Uh, but it, it's kind of easy to just run past the enemies. I think if you stand and try and fight them, that's when you get humbled, should we say. Uh, and I think that's something that I learned when I was playing with, with Jill. Jill really cannot 
unless she has to. She really cannot stay and fight hunters. Chris can take the damage better. So with Chris, it's not that's the way up. Should really have brought the other Doom book. Uh, I could go back and get that, but it's fine. Um, right. Here we go. Let's get this bastard moving. Ugh, run. Run, Chris. Run. Run. That didn't work, did it, Chris? That didn't work, did it? Did not, uh, did not work. Ah, oh, where are we going? Chris, where are you going? We'll go this way. Um, why is my phone vibrating again? Um... Uh, nope, that's fine. All good. Cool. Right. Uh, mm. Let's try that again. Uh, there we go. That activates it. Run! Run! Please don't die, Chris. I hate these sections. I always worry. Always worry. I'm just going to get squished. Uh. Right, let's get the last Doom book. It's a map of the underground. Will you take it? I mean, it's kind of pointless getting the underground map now because we're like at the end of the underground. But, you know, why not, I guess. Uh, cool. Now, let's work the cranky crank. Hey, it actually worked first time as well. You say, you're, you can't choose this right now. I was like, uh, yes, game. Yes, I can. Son of a bitch. Okay. Now. Uh, pretty sure there's nothing here. Although you can use that, I think, to hide from the boulder. Uh, maybe. Keep winding the crank. It's all right, Chris. Don't worry. We've got all day, matey. All day we have. No one needs to work too hard now. Those big bulging muscles of yours. I don't know if he's really got big bulging muscles in this game. He kind of looks, you know, like a normal human. Whereas later on, he starts looking like a cloud. Uh, it does <laughs> look quite silly, really. But there we go. Okay. Uh, right, let's go through here. Let's have a fiddle around with this. I did think that maybe we get a couple more hunters come through. But I guess not. Oh, do we need... Yeah, no, that's fine. For some reason, I thought we needed the other, the other crank. I was about to swear. But that's fine. Right. Shift. 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 There we go. Alright. Yep. Use the hex. You can't use... What do you mean you can't use that here? Don't say I've got the wrong blood. No, that is the hex crank. Silly game. It has to be the hex crank. There we go. And use it again. We're not going to use the shotgun. We're going to use the hex crank. There we go. Good boy. Now what's interesting, with the cranks, it never says, this item is useless. You can throw them away. I wish you could throw the bloody cranks away. Chris, come on, buddy. Work me here. There we go. Uh, not quite. Not quite. There we go. Right, so what is behind this door? It is, of course, the lab key. Very nice. Right, let's go back and get the other Doom book. Because I'm silly and forgot it. Because I'm silly. Um, 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 right, cool. Alright. No hunters, though. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Right, we need to go this way. And get the Doom book. Oh, I feel like a right idiot for forgetting that. I think we're going to have enough Magnum uh, to deal with the Tyrant. The Tyrant's not doesn't take a huge amount of damage as long as you have the right weapons. Um, 
No, I mean, the Magnum is OP anyway. It's ridiculous. So, we definitely have done quite well, I would say. Now, if I hadn't played through as Jill, uh, I think we would have had a significantly harder time. Right. Where's my other Doom book? Book of Doom, please. Thank you. So what have we got? We've got six in the gun and... 42 there. So we've got 48 Magnum rounds. Uh, yep. Yep, that's that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Um, now... Can I please have my Beretta? Thank you. This feels a bit strange, this late in the game, pulling out the Beretta, but uh, I think it's probably a good idea. I mean, I say it's probably a good idea. We could comfortably use the shotgun now, I reckon. The only trouble we're going to have is those um, uh, naked zombies that do actually respawn. We know those naked zombies respawn. Um, but we don't really need to kill them. Ah, bollocks. We've got that uh, box puzzle again, haven't we? Damn it. I hate that box puzzle. But hey, uh, I, I don't think it was as hard as I kind of remembered it being. Now, there are herbs out here. Uh, there is. It's, oh, do we even want them? Maybe. I guess. I suppose we're about to use these up so we can grab them. I suppose there's no point in not grabbing them. Uh, we don't need the blue herbs. Definitely don't need the blue herbs. Definitely not. Interesting that it's giving you blue herbs this late into the game as well. I don't know how you'd get poisoned here. It does lead me to believe that maybe we can um, use them to power us up. Picture of a wolf, yeah. Alright, wolf, in you go. And um, what else have we got here? I wonder if originally, oh no, I was going to say that's the actual door there. I wonder originally if there's going to be three medallions. It kind of looked like there was three um, cutouts, but I guess not. Such an elaborate place, this. Mm -hmm. Now we can pick these herbs because there's night and box literally straight down there. And there is also two more herbs uh, as we go into the lab itself. That first bit with all the zombies. Um, also the save room has herbs in it as well I believe. Uh, we're good. We're, we're really bloody good actually. I would hate to try and do a no save run of this game. With Chris it's perfectly feasible. I think, as long as you're very careful with the hunters. With Jill, oof. She just, like, the one-shots with Jill are just brutally unfair. Unless you're Carcigen or someone like that who's just godly at this game. And they are godly at this game. They're unbelievably good. Um, right. Now, let's go down again. I'd love to know how much dedication it takes to get that good at a game. Probably a lot. Okay, item box. Let's drop down our herbs. Um, 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 right, herb, 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 green herb. We can replace these. Don't need the spray. Right, let's push on forwards. 
Hopefully, by the time we reach the other save room... Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a lot more Zeds out here this time, isn't there? Come on. Come on. Oof. That was lucky. That was very lucky. <sighs> Is this guy actually... Yeah, he's still up. Really? Dude, come on. Oh, God, wasted a bullet. Wasted a bullet. Come on, buddy. Take your medicine. There we go. He's still active. He's still active. He's, he's not had enough just yet. He's still going. Um, do we want to take these herbs? Oh, I mean, they're kind of useful to leave them there, just in case we get bitten by zombies down there. But I don't know. Right. Uh, we'll take them. At least if they're all in our item box, we know where they are. I'll tell you what, we'll leave one up here, just in case. Right, he's dead. I don't think there's anything... Ah, there is something there to grab. There's the reel, but we need that when we're going in there anyway, so... We shall leave that. I mean, technically we don't need it anyway. It's just... It's basically a file, so... Eh, yeah, fuck it. Right, now we have the naked zombies. Naked zombies? Oh, uh, hello, sir. Oh, you cheeky little fucking son of a bitch. Uh, right, well. You play with feathers, you gotta expect to get your ass tickled. And we certainly played with some feathers there. Right, so, what do we have here? This computer is used to open the electronic locks. Will you turn it on? We will. With our, <laughs> as Jimmy pointed out, with our Duke Nukem gloves there. I like the way Jill and uh, Chris are wearing the same gloves. Uh, Robots. I actually missed what I said then. Uh, so we want John. Uh, there we go. Gee, how do we know this? Ada. Let's get all these doors locked. Unlocked, I should say. Yeah, I do love the way you see a little hard drive activity light going when we go to unlock the doors. Right, um There you go. Bip, 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 accessing. Excellent. And that is mole. Now there is also a secret code you can put in here. Um, I did it in my original Let's Play, I think. In fact, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, Chris does a different animation. <laughs> Love it. Um, yes, there is a different uh, animation. Uh, different animation. There's another code you can put in. Uh, you can put in the tofu. Uh, I can't remember what it even is. Uh, it's something to do with tofu from Resident Evil. Too, and you can hear his his sound effect, which I thought was a bit random. I can't remember what you had to put in though. Uh, well, anyway, that's done. Um, what do we have? We have some more Magnum. No, that's the Mo disc. Yes, definitely want the Mo disc. Uh, I mean, we're meta gaming a bit by doing it that way, but we've already played Jill, so we we know what we've got coming up. Um, I think that's like the first thing you would try on a second run. You'd say, yeah, I wonder if all the codes are the same. And yes. Various chemicals used for research. Nothing useful. Are you sure there's not a bucket of acid that we could, I don't know, throw on a zombie or something? That might be useful. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's not rule out our options here. Can we get him to go that way so we can sneak past? We can. You have used the lab key. This key is useless now. Discard. Alright. And we've got two of the Mo discs as well, which is fantastic. 
I think we are just going to switch up to the shotgun now. Because, yeah, the handguns is fully obsolete at this point. Hey, zombie. In fact, we're probably going to use it all up here. I'll be very amazed if we don't. Get down. Ooh, one in the face. One in the back of the head. Unless he had his face on the back of his head. It always feels really anticlimactic when you get a headshot when the zombie's already, like, really injured. Uh, yeah. Just use up all these bullets. Can we get a headshot? One last headshot? Nope, we've got one round left. One round left. And that didn't kill him. Now, I don't know if we leave the room and come back in. Are these zombies still going to be weakened? I don't think they are. Uh, right. So... What have we got here? Magnum ammo. I mean, that's cool, I guess, I suppose. Uh, and there's actually another green herb in there, which I totally forgot about. Right, let's drop you back, because you're done now. You are empty. Uh, Mo disc. We'll keep one Mo disc on us. We'll take the shotgun. We'll Get where's the ammo for the Colt Python Magnum rounds? There we go. There we go. We could probably run around with a Magnum now. To be fair, uh, Modisk we will keep. I'm trying to think what else we have left to do now. Uh, combine. Oh, we're actually on 32 minutes, so it's probably a good time to save, to be fair. So I think that's what we're going to do, guys. And we really don't have a lot of this game left. We really don't. And the fact that we're... Hang on. I'm going to scoop up this herb whilst we're here. Might as well. Ah, oh, thank you. E I I I. Uh, we'll go do the power room when we come back. Then we'll go do the box puzzle. Because uh, the box puzzle is... a Dick. Do you want to? Yeah, uh, we won't keep a herb on us because we're going to save it now. Um, pretty much right at the end of the game. Uh, oh, we've got two more discs. Of course we do. Although we're going to use one now. Well, next episode. Um, 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 right. Let's grab that and let's drop a save. And with that, guys, we're going to end the video. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.